Chapter 90, Eternal God and Mortal Man, A Prayer of Moses, the Man of God. Lord, you have been our refuge in every generation. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from eternity to eternity, you were God. You returned mankind to the dust, saying, Return, descendants of Adam, for in your sight a thousand years are like yesterday that passes by like a few hours of the night. You in their lives, they sleep. They are like grass that grows in the morning. In the morning it sprouts and grows, but evening it withers and dries up. For we are consumed by your anger. We are terrified by your wrath. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. For all our days ebb away under your wrath. We end our years like a sigh. Our lives last seventy years, or, if we are strong, eighty years. Even the best of them are struggle and sorrow. Indeed, they pass quickly, and we fly away. Who understands the power of your anger? Your wrath matches the fear that is due you. Teach us to number our days carefully, so that we may develop wisdom in our hearts. Lord, how long? Turn and have companion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your faithful love so that we may shout with joy and be glad all our days. Make us rejoice for as many days as you have humbled us, for as many years as we have seen adversity. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your splendor by their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be on us. Establish for us the work of our hands. Establish the work of our hands. Chapter 91, The Protection of the Most High The one who lives under the protection of the Most High dwells in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say concerning the Lord, who is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, he himself will rescue you from the bird trap, from the destructive plague. He will cover you with his feathers. He will take refuge under his wings. His faithfulness will be a protective shield. He will not fear the terror of the night. The arrow that flies by day, the plague that stalks in darkness, or the pestilence that ravages at noon. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, the pestilence will not reach you. You will only see it with your eyes, and witness the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place. No harm will come to you, no plague will come near your tent, for he will give his angels orders concerning you, to protect you in all your ways. They will support you with their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the young lion and the serpent. Because he has his heart set on me, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and give him honor. I will satisfy him with a long life and show him my salvation. Chapter 92, God's Love and Faithfulness, a Psalm, a song for the Sabbath day. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, Most High, to declare your faithful love in the morning and your faithfulness at night with a ten-stringed harp and the music of a lyre. For you have made me rejoice, Lord, by what you have done. I will shout for joy because of the works of your hands. How magnificent are your works, Lord. How profound your thoughts. A stupid person does not know. A fool does not understand this. Though the wicked sprout like grass, and all evildoers flourish, they will be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are exalted forever. For indeed, Lord, your enemies, indeed, your enemies will perish. All evildoers will be scattered. You have lifted up my horn like that of a wild ox. I have been anointed with the finest oil. My eyes look at my enemies when evildoers rise against me. My eyes hear them. The righteous thrive like a palm tree and grow like a cedar tree in Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they thrive in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age, healthy and green, to declare, The Lord is just, he is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Chapter 93, God's Eternal Reign. The Lord reigns. He 
He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, enveloped in strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be shaken. Your throne has been established from the beginning. You are from eternity. The floods have lifted up, Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their pounding waves, greater than the roar of a huge torrent. The mighty breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is majestic. Lord, your testimonies are completely reliable. Holiness adorns your house for all the days to come.